What's going on, everyone? Today, if you couldn't tell by the intro or the thumbnail, um, today we're debuting the new rally car, the new rallycross car, rally build, whatever you want to call it, multiple stages of its life it'll go through probably, but today is the day that we finally introduce it. So, here we go. As you've seen, it is the 1992 Passat 1.9 TDI Synchro. So originally a G60 Synchro, um, but then swapped with a, it was originally a 1.9 TD AAZ. Now it's a 1.9 TDI a, uh, 1Z, um, swapped in by a couple friends of mine because the AAZ had a cracked block before I got it. Um, yeah, so going back to all wheel drive, um, ancient all-wheel drive at that but you can buy differentials for the front and rear um, and should be able to make this thing move just have to learn to adapt to the all-wheel drive but you know that just comes in time so I'm just trying to get behind the seat and get the car to the point where it can actually be plated and put on the road I did have a temp permit for it and did a launch video that I'll put in now <laughs> So, in that video, I was just got the car, just got a temp permit, and uh, was driving it around just to kind of feel it out. Uh, it was in limp mode, so it was only making 10 pounds of boost, and wasn't very fast, like, at all. I was kind of worried about it. And then uh, found out that some stuff needed to be finished up on the swap, because it was just put together for a friend so he could start driving it again, so obviously... Sorry, not obviously, um, but uh, it's using a AAZ intake manifold and an AAZ turbo, which aren't, it has no EGR, which is fine. Uh, the turbo, on the other hand, needs has a direct line from the wastegate to the um, charge air side, so it's it wasn't connected to the N75 valve. Um, so, put all that together, and then this happened. So I ended up having overboost, so I'm still working the kinks out right now, not a big deal. Um, yeah, so the car is overall pretty good. Um, it's a little large, it's a little lighter than my old Mark IV, but again, all-wheel drive. Um, comes with big brakes in the front, rear discs, rear independent suspension because it's all-wheel drive. Um, comes with all-wheel drive, and I mean... These things weren't for everybody when they came out. I've had actually four or five of these Passats before and kind of got a soft spot for them. Um, I'm a sucker for a big luxury car. I've had a couple 5,000, old luxury car. I've had a couple 5,000 Audis, is five, Audi 5,000s as well. So I kind of really like these old things. Um, I'm pretty stoked to have the all wheel drive. This is probably the closest thing I'll ever be able to get to a golf rally. So I'm doing what I can to make the best of what I want to do with racing. So, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Um, engine will be getting some upgrades. Um, intake manifold, probably keep the stock turbo for now. Uh, probably get a new intake manifold, new intercooler, some nozzles, a chip. It's got a fully built exhaust on it already, downpipe to the back, so that's really nice. Um, as you can see, the headlights are currently missing, which is fine because I am actually working on another video because I started to work on it before I made this. But I'm going to be, I just rewired, the, made new wiring harnesses for the headlights. This is actually for one side. As you can see, it's two, but we'll get into that. But yeah, let's get into that later. Um, 
came with hella DEs. Um, sadly, the lenses are all cracked, but again, different video. I'll mention all that. I'm going to work on it after this one. Um, but yeah, so came with LEDs, super cool, super rare, really good lighting. Um, it's on Jeep Trackhawk Springs, which is kind of weird. Um, it's really lifted in the front and we'll be changing that. Also got some parts in for it, for the suspension, um, cause there's some stuff that needs to be fixed so I can actually go get it safetyed. So I've got some stuff for that, but it's all upgrades. So that'll be coming. I got some other rally stuff to put on it. So that'll be coming. So yeah, we're going to, I got some stuff to get this thing rolling, um, and start making some videos again. Oh, I did start taking other stuff out, like the wiring and the stereo of it. Um, so I'm going to be keeping all that shit and weighing it and then keeping tally of the weight of the car, which is what I should have done with the Mark IV as well. Um, but I'll be doing that for this thing because I want to see what uh, what it's going to weigh after. But yeah, that's it. This is the car. This is the uh, future race project. I'm pretty stoked. Um, hoping to have it ready for some testing in some shape or form. You know, obviously probably not with dips and everything, but some way or another, um, hoping to have it ready for testing at the ice racing events that are coming up. So that's sometime in the winter. Don't know exactly when, but uh, yeah, gonna hopefully get it ready. But yeah, there'll be lots of videos coming out about this thing. Lots of parts coming through for it. Lots to do to get it ready for just to be on the road and to be start the transformation of racing or into racing um which will happen in the in between because obviously fixing stuff you're not going to replace it with oem stuff just to replace it again with new stuff so it's just going to be getting parts put on it and then once the uh the thing is passed safety and actually has the proper stickers and stuff for it then i can start the race car transformation process uh hope everyone's stoked so that's going to be the end of this one. Um, stay tuned for what's coming up for the car. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.